With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. So here we have a question for a chapter kinematics. A ball A is dropped from a building of height 45 meters. Simultaneously, another ball B is thrown up with a speed of 40 meter per second. Calculate the relative speed of the ball as a function of time. So what we have is we have a tower. So this is our tower and what we are doing, we are dropping a ball from here. So our ball A is coming down with velocity initial equals to zero and another ball B we have thrown up with a velocity of 40 meter per second. So we have to find out the equation of their basically their time dependency of relative velocities. So if I talk about my velocity of v, VA after time t, what will be VA after time t? It will be equal to initial velocity UA plus at now here ua is equal to 0 and our acceleration is equal to minus g because g is in downward direction so it will be equal to minus gt so this will be our function of va and similarly if we talk about vb we know that vb will be equal to what ub plus at now ub is equal to what 40 meter per second as it is in upwards direction minus again gt because g is in downward direction so its sign will be negative multiplied by t so if i talk about the relative velocity we know relative velocity vab will be equal to what it will be equal to va minus vb and we have to find out the time dependency of this term so this will be equal to va minus vb what is va it is equal to minus gt minus vb what is minus vb it is equal to minus of 40 minus gt so if i solve what i get is both the gt terms cut out and we get out we get that it comes out to be equals to minus 40 meter per second so basically their relative velocity will be always constant and it will be equals to 40 meter per second and the direction will be dependent on whether you are seeing v a relative to b or b relative to a so our correct option will be our option b that their relative velocity will always be equal to a constant that is 40 meter per second thank you for class 6 to 12 itg and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today